Hey YouTube, I'm back. Spreading a little under the weather, so I decided to make a soup. And um, this is gonna be a ham soup, sopa de jamón. Um, one of my favorites, but it's definitely a little different. It's to my style. Um, as my grandmother would say, it's not a soup because it doesn't have the broth. Um, I like to drain out the water, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna dive right in and get started. Um, I got the water boiling and I'm gonna use some angel hair pasta which is very thin and very good I have a cold so I was in the mood for a soup and this is the ham it comes already diced up and it's just for me so I'm just making a little bit not too much but I'll show you guys how I do it it's super simple super easy one of those um, meals that are very quick and easy so yeah I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas and got everything we asked for. <laughs> I sure had a good Christmas. Okay. All right. So, why do they make these things that you can't open them? I'll well, try to see. I open it without breaking it so I can reseal it. These things are good though because if you don't use all of the ham, you can just freeze it. And I'm not going to be using all of it because my kids don't like the ham soup so I'll just be making it just for me and that's it if I can get it open that would be nice so I got the boil um the water boiling already and going and now I'm just gonna put in the ham you can put as much ham as you want like I said it's just for me so Just enough to get the soup going. And they're very small, so they'll kind of disintegrate in there. Um, I already cut up the um, mushrooms. I know a lot of you guys don't like mushroom, but if you do, you can put in mushrooms. I have onion, roughly chopped, and I also have the cauliflower, which I already boiled. So I kind of like prep cooked a little bit just to speed up the process but um yeah so we got that going and now i'm gonna put in the angel hair fideos the pasta and i love how they come in little like little cubes or not cubes like little uh round donuts it looks like Pretty much just make the whole bag. This way I'll have some leftover. Yeah, I'm making a mess here. Okay. Alright, so we got that. And it's angel hair, so it's so thin. Like, you know how sometimes when you're sick, you just don't feel like really having anything too hearty so this is something light and easy and fast to make and it's about to rain so it's like perfect for the weather i finally got my tripod guys so now you can actually see me at the same time as i'm cooking So I'm gonna let that go. So what I do is I add a little bit of um, olive oil, good olive oil, to just kind of get it like, you know, to fry a little bit. Not too much because we're gonna put that in the soup. We don't wanna make it, you know, too oily. Be good if my stern cook a one. All right. <clears throat> This was just some shrimp also that I was thinking of having. I was probably gonna put some. This is cocktail shrimp. Um, I'm not gonna put that in. I was just kinda in the mood for that. You know when you're hungry, you just want anything. <laughs> and then I already also have the garlic. I have some garlic here, cause that's always good when you're sick. My dad always tells me, put in some garlic in the soup. <laughs> well, everyone knows that's good, but yeah, dad, there's the garlic. <laughs> Gonna get that in the soup. That's always good for you. 
see where it shrivels up to nothing, really. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. You see that there? I love angel hair, but originally I wanted to get the vermicelli noodles, which are like Asian noodles. And, um, I don't know. I don't think this is coming up. Oh, yeah, it is on. Okay. Um, let me make it a little higher. Um, the vermicelli noodles are white. They're Asian noodles, but they're super good. Like, they have a lot of flavor for just being a pasta. And you can get that at, like, your local Asian market or whatever. They have things like that. Um, they're very low on starch. So, it's, yeah, it's really good for a soup, and I love that. I think I'm just going to use that for onion, depending. I'm going to put in the garlic last because I don't want it to burn. And um, I'm also going to add something very Spanish to make it just that much better. Sofrito, Goya. That's good just for, like, the base. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down because that cooks very fast. And then I'm just going to throw in the onion. I just did a rough chop. If you want it smaller, you can make them smaller. If you don't want onion, you don't have to add the onion. I know a lot of people don't like onion. Some people love onion. So this is a very versatile um, recipe. You can just make it to your liking however you want. We're just going to cook that down. And the cauliflower is really good too. Um, as you can see here, I don't know, the lighting is like not that great. That's another plus. If you don't like cauliflower, you don't have to add it. You can add anything you want really to this, but this is how I like my soup. All right, now you can hear it, now it's going. Oh, and I put this in the, in the background, guys. My little jukebox that my grandma gave me. I absolutely love it. As you can see it there. It um has flashing lights. It does work, it has music, and then this is the music part here where you control the, the station. I don't know if you can see it. So yeah. I love that jukebox. Alright, now we're on a roll. Let me get my other spoon so I don't scratch up my non-stick pan there. Okay. I have it on medium-high, just so, you know, if you want to get it to caramelize. We want that to cook pretty well. Well, this one I could have cut a little more. I'll take that one out. I don't want too many big chunks. Usually I cut them smaller, but I just wanted to hurry up and make it because I'm super hungry and just wanted to make something quick and easy and fast. It's about to rain outside, so it's like perfect weather for a soup. And yeah, I got a cold, as I said, so um, this is like perfect, soothing, and the ham is like salty, it wakes up your taste buds, so that's good. Sometimes I even add chorizo, um, chorizo is like really, really spicy, so I would only add like probably a little spoon of it, just to give it that little, um, that little kick. So, okay, here I come with the seasonings. I'm going to add just a little sprinkle of the foam for coloring. I guess that's a Spanish thing. You just always have to add a little twist to it. <laughs> you don't want it to be bland. And a little adobo. Just the flavor. So we don't need to add salt or anything. Okay. Making all that noise. 
All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the sofrito. I just pretty much eyeball it. I put about one rice quart of it. Because that's, like I said, that's gonna be the, the base of it. Like, that's what's gonna, you know, give it like that broth. Okay. I had it lower, I had it on too high. Okay, here we go. Now what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of the broth also from, I like to add the broth from the pasta because it just gives it that flavor. I hope you guys can see this at a good angle in my tripod. Yeah, it's looking good. It's going to taste good too. So lastly, I'm going to chop up the garlic just so that um we can add that in. And the mushrooms are last because, as we all know, the mushroom string. And like I said, this is very versatile. If you don't like mushroom, you don't have to add mushroom. But this is a ham soup, so I, you know, try to keep the ham. <laughs> this is really a Heidi soup because <laughs> I've never seen anyone make this. I just came up with my own concoction one day and was like, I think I'm just going to have this. <laughs> yeah. You can cover it if you want. It'll help faster, but I like it to just really get more on the, like, caramelized side, so I just leave it open. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and chop up the garlic. A rough chop, nothing crazy. Yeah, I'll do it over here so you guys can see me. That's my hot plate that I had ready there. Okay, we don't need that onion. See, like the little baby garlics like this, I would just leave it in. Just do a rough chop. Once this boils also inside of that, that's going to be so good. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. Super good. Okay, we got that. Now we can add the mushroom. Oh, overboard. If you see it's getting a little dried up, you could always add chicken broth, or you can just add the um, broth from the pasta. You know, the water has its own broth. You can add some of that, but I kind of like it dry. Like I said, this is my own thing of soup without the caldo, without the broth, because I like it dry. I'll show you what I mean after. You'll see how when it all comes together. And now I'm gonna add the garlic. Ooh. <laughs> Once the garlic hits the pan, forget about it. <laughs> it's all uphill from there. It starts smelling good, tasting good, and healthy for you. Can't lose there. This looks like a stir fry. So it's pretty much like a stir fry at first until you add it with the noodles. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook, let it simmer, while I go drain out the injera pasta noodles. Okay, see how they turn white? That's exactly how we want it. Nice and soft. I'm gonna go ahead and um, take some of that water and add it in, just so it doesn't dry up. And I'll drain it. Mmm, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. And that ham is already pre-cooked, so you're not really cooking the ham per se. You're just 
basically, you know, trying to blend in the flavors and just warm it up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off because that's done. Add a little more water. Mm. Even even though it looks like a lot of ham for just me, all that ham gets lost inside the pasta. So you want to kind of put a little more than what you would eat because it kind of disappears to go to the bottom once you mix it in with the pasta or the noodles. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to try that. I feel like it's missing color, like something red. I don't know. It's not the red. Alright, guys. I got my needle ready. Got my so I'm just cooking it down so that it's really like translucent. Look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I can't even tell you. <laughs> I'm excited. Let the garlic soften up too, because remember we just put the garlic in, so just let it soften up. We're basically going to all just put this together when we're done anyway. We wanted a little not burnt, but we want a little brownie. We don't want it all to be, you know, raw. That's what's gonna give it that flavor, it's the brownie. Or the goodies. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drain that out. We got some time to clean very soft and tender I like to add pearl onions but um seeing that I already had the other onion I don't need to so and there you have it that is the soup my grandmother would say this is not soup because it has no raw but like I said if you wanted you could just Put it in the bigger pot. This one, I think I'm gonna do transfer it. That'll be my plate. Okay. Come on. There we go. 
make sure you get all that goodness in the bottom. That's what's got all the flavor right there. chunks of garlic. I'll probably cut up the cauliflower a little more just but it's so tender I can break it with a spoon because I don't want big chunks I want like medium chunks more so I can just it'd be easier to eat that way. It's so soft though it just like melts in your mouth. Okay you have the pasta falling all over the place. All right, and here you have it. I'm gonna plate it so you guys can see. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure you mix it good too. I love the cauliflower, so I'm gonna try to get that in there. And there you have it. Ham soup Chinese style. <laughs> you could always add a little cilantro if you want. I love cilantro, but I actually forgot to buy that. But yeah, you could add cilantro and just mix it in. Or even while you're frying it or whatever, you can also do that. But here it is. You can see the chunks of garlic. Mmm, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. So, so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I don't even want to talk. <laughs> it's so good. So, so good. I suggest you try it before anything. Before judging, because some people will probably not agree it's a soup, like I said, because it has no broth, but you can leave the broth in. As my grandmother would say, this is sopa seco. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good and very versatile. Like I said, if you don't like the mushroom, you don't have to add that. But um, yeah, you guys should try this. And if you're sick, like I said, you might want to leave a little broth too. It'll just make it that much better. But I like mine dry. But yeah, until next time, thank you guys. Take care. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Bye-bye.